So the Ravens this morning were like, hey, everybody, wake up. We got a presser at 7.45 in the morning. <laughs> it's like 7.45. I was knocked out for most of it. I did catch the replay though. Um and but and the reason I was knocked out is because I had went to sleep after watching this fake stage slap heard around the world from one Will Smith to Chris Rock. And I know the first thing a lot of people are gonna say, oh, he was defending his wife. Chris Rock was talking bad about Will Smith's wife. And, and that part I understand. But I also understand that literally everybody was in that building last night for the Oscars. What are the Oscars? That is an award show to be given to the best actors. And Will Smith is regarded as one of the best actors of maybe all time. So I would say he's pretty good at different roles. He knows how to cry on the spot. He knows how to look angry on the spot. He knows how to go through a lot of different emotions on the spot. So I just don't think it was real. But anyway, we on to football. Um, John Harbaugh, this morning, early this morning, uh, John Harbaugh had a press conference, and he talked about a lot of stuff. And we're going to get to the good stuff first that I know y'all want to hear about. Um, one of the things that he spoke about was Lamar Jackson and his contract. And this has been the talk for a long time. It's going to continue to be the talk for a long time until it actually gets done. Then even after it gets done, uh, it's still going to be the talk for a long time because everybody, so many people are going to say, oh, does he deserve that? Whatever he gets paid, does he deserve that much money? Whatever it is that he gets, it's going to be the talk for a long time. So the contract talk ain't going away regardless. Um, but Harbaugh said that uh, Lamar is ready to be back at the offseason program. Said he hasn't heard anything on Lamar's new contract. He said that he hasn't talked, Lamar hasn't talked to either Harbaugh or EDC about that. So uh, Harbaugh sort of confirming um, a lot of the rumors that Lamar, Lamar ain't been on that. <laughs> and I ain't mad at him. I ain't mad at him. I, again, I do not think a contract happens this offseason. I think Lamar really wants to see what these Ravens are going to do, how they're going to operate in the short term, but also in the long term, too. I want I think he wants to see how this offense is going to be in the long term, because we know what it's going to be in the short term. But how is it going to be in the long term? Are they really going to take that next step? They started doing it last year. Don't get me wrong. They started it last year. But are they going to continue? Are they going to move forward? Are they going to push forward? We'll see. Um, he said that uh, Lamar Jackson is focused on training. Uh, and, and Harbaugh said that he can't really talk to Lamar about football stuff. He can't talk to any of the players about football stuff. But he said he can sure watch the videos, though. <laughs> and we can all sure watch the videos, though, because we all surely been watching the videos, though. So, Harbaugh, we right there with you. Um, he said that it's not in the forefront of his mind, and he's, Harb said that he would like to see something get done. And he said Lamar feels like uh, he wants to get something done, too, but it's, he said it doesn't have to be a huge priority right now, which it does not. It doesn't. It doesn't. Again, let, let's see what happens in the draft. Let's see what happens with during the season. Let's see how these Ravens operate on offense. Um, he said that he's confident that it'll happen, but he talked about Lamar being very unique and that Lamar isn't going to worry about it. Um, he also said if it mattered to him, then obviously it would be a priority and we'd be getting something done. And that, that was like, ooh, I was like, oh, okay, okay, oh boy, okay, I'll see you now. Um, I'm reading in between the words right there, but anyway. Uh, he said Lamar has his reasons for thinking the way that he does. But he says Lamar says that right now he has to focus on being the best quarterback he can be. And what that sounds like to me, <laughs> Lamar looking around the league. Oh, these boys getting paid like that. Oh, they getting bred like that. Ooh, let me just come back. Let me come back healthy and be healthy this year. And because, again, last year, I think he, he was obviously hurt from early in the year. Uh, Cause he was not, he was not playing the same. He was not moving the same. He, he just, he was off. You could tell. Um, but it, you know, he got to be looking around at all these other quarterback contracts. Like, oh yeah. <laughs> hey, but we're gonna see what happens. Now, we also got an update on Bobby Wagner. Cause we on Bobby Wagner watch. Uh, he was asked about, hey, what's up with Bobby? What's going on with Bobby Wagner? Y'all talking to him? What's the status with him? And you know, like, for a guy outside free agents, they'll talk about their own free agents. But for outside free agents, it's like Bruno because they don't talk about it. They don't talk about it. 
they they'll usually say something like, oh, well, we're looking at any kind of way we can to upgrade our football team. We're looking at everybody. And Harbaugh did mention that <laughs> they are looking at everybody. But he said Bobby Wagner is out there uh, and he said, I, I can't sit here and say we're not talking about or to Bobby Wagner. So he pretty much confirmed that, hey, we're talking to Bobby Wagner. But he let he let us know. Um, but he said that we'll see what happens uh, with that and said that Eric and Ozzy, they work at it and we'll see what goes down. So in my eyes, I'm, I'm not trying to get anybody hyped, anything like that. I'm really not. Um, but I would think that a deal would be done. Uh, what's today? Monday at the latest by Wednesday. But I would say probably by Tuesday. Just my opinion. Could be wrong. Could be right. We'll see. But the, the only reason I say that, and again, I'm not trying to get anybody hyped up. The only reason I say that is because they just simply do not specifically talk about outside free agents. They don't. Even if there's a report, oh, you guys are interested in this guy. Oh, you guys are interested in that guy. They always sort of shy away from the question. They always like, oh, well, we're looking at everybody. We're looking at all our options on, on ways to make our football team better. But this one, he like... He didn't address it head on, but the way that he spoke and is like, uh, it just it sounds like something is going to get done. So we'll see, baby. Uh, shout out to my guy, uh, Dominic, because he's <laughs> he said that because there, there was there were like rumors and stuff that Bobby Wagner was still up in Baltimore. And some people said, no, he wasn't. He's in Seattle. And, uh, who knows where he is? Um, but my guy, his his wife, my guy, Dominic's wife said that Bobby Wagner's probably just up there trying to hang out with Lamar. Just chill with Lamar for a little bit. And then he, he said he wasn't on no Ravens contract stuff. I told him that, hey, that women's intuition. She could be right. Uh, but anyway, ooh, timing is everything. Because a couple days ago, I had the question from subscriber video. Um, and then we brought up how some people mentioned some very interesting points in the comments section. And then I brought up how my guy JT, he brought up about Patrick McCary, the, the contract that they gave him. Um, but we, we had the video on Patrick McCary possibly being the Ravens starting center moving forward. We just had that with two, three days. I think it was three days ago, three days ago. And it's no, co is it a coincidence? I don't know. But anyway, John Harbaugh, he spoke about the center position. He said that they appreciate everything that Bradley Bozeman did for them. Um, he said that he started every year that he was here and obviously most years at guard and then last year at center. But he said he doubts that they'll sign someone in free agency, said that the draft, they have some options there with the draft. Um, but we also have some options in house here. And he mentioned Patrick McCary and Tristan Colon Castillo. But then he said McCary will step in as the starter. And boy, oh boy. Timing is everything. Literally just talked about this three days ago. And now John Harbaugh confirms it, even though it ain't over till it's over. A lot could change with the draft. And I just like, yeah, Makari is, is the starting center. But I think he's saying that right now um, just so he can throw some teams off, too. Because you know, hey, the draft's coming up. It's coming up in a month. One month from now. It's coming up in a month. Um, and you know the Ravens, I mean all teams do it. They they gonna try to sort of throw people off of their scent. Cause he a lot of teams gonna be thinking, oh, the Ravens gonna try to do this, that, and the third. Meanwhile, the Ravens like, no, no, we want them to think we're doing that. So even though he said Patrick McCarry is gonna be the starter, it is extremely early. So I would just, we'll see. Because I know it's going to be a lot of fans. Oh, man, I don't like Makai. Then there's going to be some fans like, oh, wait, but wait. It, don't just take out take the Buffalo game out on him. It was like Justin Tucker had a bad game too. And da -da, the weather, da -da -da -da. So it's going to be a lot of back and forth. But even though Harbaugh penciled him in as a starter, I would not just be like, all right, it's done. That's the center position. Again, I do think Ravens are moving forward like they have all their starters on the offensive line already there. But I think they're still going to be sniffing around. So we'll see. Um, we talked about J.K. and Gus. They might start training camp on PUP. Said they'll play it safe. And that's the physically unable to perform list. Um, so that would mean that they just wouldn't be able to really practice until they uh, pass the, the physical. 
um, and passed the uh, that that Ravens that that not the conditioning test. Yeah, the conditioning test. But um, which is very very crazy. Uh, he was also asked about run pass ratio, uh, and he said that's not something they really talk about. It just goes from one game to the next, and and it should. I I agree with that. It, it should because you can't just say, all right, we're gonna go into this game. 70% passing, 30% running. Um, because what if this team, and, and this is what you would hope that your, your coaches and coordinators could see, what if this team, they struggle against the run? What if they struggle terribly against the run? Are you still going to go 70-30 uh, with pass run? No. You got to go run heavy because this team, they can't stop the run, so you shouldn't stop running unless they're stopping you. But this is why the Ravens, they really got to get into the flow of these games. But it's true what he said, that it, it, it just goes game by game basis. Um, he said that you just have to do whatever you need to do to win. And he said, we want to do what we do well. <laughs> he said that they weren't anticipating going into free agency, getting the safety of uh, Marcus Williams caliber. Um, he talked about how he can cover ground well and he always has his hands on the football, whether it's interceptions or tip passes or whatnot. He said he's always around the football. So... That's what Ravens definitely need more of. Um, he said he'd like to stay away from overtime next year as much as possible. And he talked about how uh, the overtimes that he avoided last year. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you certainly did, buddy. You certainly did. Um, and he, he talked about, he said, well, we avoided them, buddy. We did lose. So, but yeah, he said he isn't for the rule changes with overtime. He said player safety is important and that he will be voting against those overtime rules so i feel like um that means that those overtime rules are gonna pass because usually with harbaugh when he presents a rule that he wants to vote for it doesn't get passed um so if he's voting against it the overtime rules are gonna get passed and why wouldn't they because the nfl wants more offense it's an offensive league they want more offense they want more games as we see they added a 17th game they want these crazy more drama and whatnot and they're gonna find ways to get it so i would expect any overtime rules to change where both teams have an opportunity to get the ball um he talked about how they want to build up their pass rush said that there are free agents out there like justin houston uh said it with a die fair way that he should be ready by training camp um and he said that he's excited about their young wide receivers said they could always draft the young wide receiver you never know what could happen Said he has the feeling that they could have a very big year as far as his wide receivers. Uh, talked about Deshaun Watson. He said that it seemed like they were playing Deshaun Watson going against him like every single year for a couple of years. Um, but now they play him twice a year. Uh, he said that they aren't afraid of anybody, though. And he talked about 500 Burrow, uh, Deshaun Watson, and mentioned Mitchell Trubisky, too. All the quarterbacks in the Ravens division, AFC North. Uh, he brought up the Rams. <laughs> multiple times um when referencing that people feel that you can win without as many draft picks <laughs> i mean anyway he didn't seem too interested in that approach though as expected like uh, everybody knows how the ravens get down uh and he was asked what he thought about their plans and he said well it worked they won a super bowl uh, but we'll we'll talk more about that uh in a little bit um, he talked about practicing, said that they're going to approach practices a little bit differently. Well, a lot differently. Um, he said as far as timing, things like timing, rhythm and pace, they're all going to be different moving forward. Uh, and he did also mention that they are they're not going to be having any more joint practices. So this year, the joint practices are scrapped. So ain't no other team players going to be swinging on no Ravens. Um, and yeah, it, it, that's that's scrapped. I th isn't that where Derek Wolf injured his back at, at the Panthers training camp last year? I think. And I think that's where uh, Ben Cleveland got a concussion. I think. I don't remember 100%. But anyway, um, he spoke about Ronnie Stanley. And he said that he doesn't know the time, the time frame of Ronnie Stanley. He said he should be back for the offseason program, but he'll probably still be rehabbing then. Uh, and he said that they won't hurry him back. They just want him back for the season. Stay ready so you ain't got to get ready. <laughs> Look for Ravens to draft a left tackle. Uh, as far as Malik Harrison, um, he said that he sees Malik Harrison as both an inside and an outside uh, linebacker. Said that um, he wants to get him that Mike linebacker spot. So I was like, okay. I don't believe you, but okay. We're going to see. I don't believe him. Um, especially with Bobby Wagner. 
Because, again, I, I, I think the Bobby Wagner is going to happen. Uh, but, we, again, we'll see. But he said with, with Tyus Bowser being out, that Malik Harrison will get reps there, too, as Sam linebacker. Um, he talked about there being a lot of good corners in the draft, said that he hopes to add like one or two of them, and we could all see that, especially with them having lost Jimmy Smith, having cut Tavon Young. Um, I feel like I'm missing somebody, too. But he talked about Brandon Stevens. Now, this is what I did believe, especially based off of last year, because, again, actions speak a lot louder than words to me. Because Ravens could say one thing, they could say all this and all that, but let's see what they do on the field. On the field, Brandon Stevens was out there a lot from jump. From preseason, he was out there a lot. So you knew how much they loved him, and he was out there a lot throughout the season, too. Uh, he talked about Brandon Stevens and said he can play all the positions in the secondary. Um, and obviously, with Marcus Williams being their starter at safety, uh, he said that Brandon Stevens will be moving around and playing a lot of football. So I could definitely see that. Um, he said that he's hopeful that Calais Campbell returns, said that he and EDC talk regularly, and he's just waiting for the good news. Oh, the good news, you say. Well, I, I got some good news for you, Mr. Harbaugh. But as far as Calais Campbell, um, Ravens have been talking about this one for a, a, a long time, man. They've been talking about this one openly for a long time, and <laughs> they starting to look a little thirsty to me, because <laughs> it's, it's like, man, does he, he don't want y'all or something? I don't know what it is, man, but they they they've been Eric DaCosta brought up Calais Campbell. Um <laughs> the Hallball brought up Calais Campbell, but they it just I don't and this has been for what over a month. And they've been we've seen all these deals that happen. I, again, I, like I said, I think the, the Ravens brought in Arden Key and Rasheem Green to try to put some pressure on Calais Campbell. I really do. I really think they brought those guys in to be like, hey, Calais, we, we ready to move on. And Calais was probably like, okay, go ahead and drive me. Go ahead and sign those guys if you want to. And the Ravens was like, oh, okay, he he called our bluff. <laughs> so I, I I just, we'll see what happens with it. We just waiting. Um, he was also asked about how the Ravens prioritize the salary cap. I love this question. Great question. I think it was Jeff Zerebic that asked it. Harb said that he wants everybody and the fans want everybody. I was going to say, okay, Hobo, so we can agree on some stuff then. I, I, I got you with that one. But he said you can't have everybody. Oh. He said that there's a salary cap limitation to it. Said that they do a great job with that as far as the Ravens. He said the Ravens do a great job with the salary cap. He said that they try to be responsible and think down the road as well, which they do do. Um, they, they do think down the road is what I'm saying. He said that they don't spend future generations money. And that's true. They don't. The whole cash over cap thing. Um, yeah, they don't do that. Uh, I think it would be nice if they did. And they like really got after it. But that's not the Ravens way. And he said, if we sign one or two more guys, then it'll forego other guys from coming. Yeah, we get that. Now, he said that hopefully, hopefully, Derek Wolf will be back for the offseason program, but he said he doesn't have to be, though. Um, but we'll see what happens with Derek Wolf. Derek, stay ready so you ain't got to get ready. Look for other options. Stay ready so you ain't got to get ready. That's what I said with Arden Key and Rasheem Green. I sign both of them. Sign them both. Like, for real, man. Uh, he said he talked to both Jimmy Smith and Pernell McPhee about their future plans, but he says that it's, it's really up to them uh, to speak on that so <clears throat> it was a cool little presser um shout out to the ravens for actually um live streaming and posting the presser and it just really stuff like the what, what the ravens um their social media team does uh as far as with especially with the presses that's one of the things that i really appreciate because i remember on friday I was trying to watch the Deshaun Watson presser with the Browns, his introductory presser with the Cleveland Browns. I'm like, all right, Ravens, every time they got a press conference, they live stream it on YouTube or it's on the, the Ravens app or whatever, Facebook, whatever. There's always a way to watch it. So I was like, all right, let me go to Brown's YouTube page to watch this presser. I go to Brown's YouTube page and I don't see nothing. I'm like, okay, well, maybe they ain't start the live stream yet. Cause I know Ravens sometimes they'll start live streaming on Facebook, but they won't start it on YouTube yet. It'll be a little bit late. I was like, okay, wait a couple minutes. All right, cool, cool. Then I go back to Brown's YouTube page and nothing. 
they ne- they never streamed it. I'm like, what? So I had to go watch it on NFL Network. I'm like, man, that's like, what? Why wouldn't you stream that? But I, mean, I got a couple reasons why they probably wouldn't stream it. But anyway, team, keep it clean. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. We out. <laughs>